thousand serial killers who have gone un, un right now. Yeah. Okay, so imagine back then. So it got to be hopefully. You I know mean, what well, I mean? Well, there you know, was no cameras, and that made me think like, are there more or less? Is it that? But also, even yes, there's no cameras, but now everybody knows the potential of what people do. Back right. then, you didn't really discuss it, so it wasn't in your brain. The idea of becoming <laughs> one wasn't out there yet. Or it wasn't even a possibility. Mm. It's just like the school shooting shit. Yeah, like it so really many wasn't happening now. before right. until everyone was like, this is a possibility. And they've seen it more. And I can see <laughs> how that, I can totally see how that makes more school shootings by but showing it on TV. But same thing as serial killing. Oh, have and you heard, now, have you heard and, about and this? And now with all these shows, they tell you how to get away with it. It's harder. Right, I know, right? It's harder, but it's more like a step by step by step. And you don't need to go Googling it because right. it, it's all on TV. Right. Nobody does the, oh, he watched all of this on Hulu. He watched the whole Dahmer series on Hulu before he did it. Right. Oh, uh, it, it's more about like, what did he search? What was his search engine? <laughs> Have you heard about this? These the 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 fake school shooting call ins, like last week. Yeah, yeah they, in LA, it, there's been no, a lot of them. They said it was. They showed a map. Every state, it was like at one time, like all the kids are doing this now. They're calling in, and everybody's out of school, so they use all these resources. How are they, they not get, finding out who made those calls? Right, I know. There's probably a way to do it. I'm sure. Yeah, there's but definitely they, a way. A note. It could be anything. Why are you, to, like to the do fact that, that they have I mean, a survey on where it's all happening before they've had the actual like right. ability to catch these kids? You know. Well, they show where the all the calls. The end of that survey should be like these out. kids are now expelled from school. I know she say that exactly say that right they should say something. Yeah, like and this is Honestly. the and this is the repercussions of of this. Right? right as a as opposed to sort of glorifying it right. like this is now a wave right Let's that's see. what the media is so dumb about I, and i get it they're the media they're not in charge of regulation yeah, yeah. fake school fake school shooting calls but somebody's leaking that information it's, it's called school squad look at where it is too it's so on people, the middle people want to get out of get out of class you know what i mean I'm it's sure they're florida doing like the middle and california right and this is i saw more than this <laughs> But this is a, uh, that's crazy. I thought it was a lot more. So was it all like the same time or just like relatively around the same week? Um, so this was just, it's going around TikTok. here's a map of all the states that have been seen swatting in the past week, it says. Is so, there a TikTok so, epidemic or something like that? Because that's usually a what? like a TikTok uh, challenge. Oh, no, no. I, no, you get caught easy like that, I'm sure. Well, you know but, that, I mean, China's really doing a, a like a, um, there's a lot of uh, manipulation on TikTok right now to really manipulate. <laughs> like Russia was the, doing? The U.S., yeah, yeah, on certain things. And, and the like whole- Like what? Like what are they actually um, <laughs> j uh, Honestly, I did not really look into it's it, like, but I should. Doing a but dance, the, extra dance. Yes, yeah, two yeah, taps yeah. with a dance. Like, what, are they, <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, they do. It's all it's, it's all spell. They're putting like a hex on us. Um, uh, just the uh, it, I mean, yeah, yeah, just kind of that same formula, but in a distraction, in a, a very a very strategic tactic to um, control the United States. I honestly cannot speak any more on it, but I do know that that it, there was a study and there was a full like. What do you call it? Like expose? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just about how China really is using TikTok right. and how it's working um, to control what we take in right. as a culture. Well, you, you know, so funny on their they, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok was from China, right? Uh -huh. Right. Well, wait, yeah. Wait, right. Wait. And they, they sold it to the U.S. Right? Remember? I don't know. Remember I don't know that they Trump? really did. Yes, yes, yes. What, he was making them, but yeah, I, I think, think they kind of dropped it. I don't think really? it ever went through. Who and else? if it did, I think he sold it to a China entity. That's like it. so, I don't. I honestly don't know. I, I was following it for a really long time, and that it never really panned out. But it's funny they have like a YouTube too, and they control all because that they were stuff. saying that they they're watching it. us through TikTok, and it's this yeah. big thing, and they're gonna have to sell it, and he's gonna make them sell it. But they never. I don't think they ever really did sell it. Um. Okay. Yeah. TikTok CEO navigates the limits of power. Okay. Byte Dance, the news aggregator, yeah, eventually just, became Byte Dance, now valued at around three hundred and sixty billion. What? Damn. Okay. A different app. According to PitchBook, and and owns TikTok, its Chinese sister app. Okay, so it's still yeah, yeah they yeah. still own it. There, yeah, okay? they just did this whole dance and like kidding. Oh, so, so they're just spying on us. Like, what are they doing? I mean, yeah. they probably 
What could they do? Uh, they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll sell it to this uh, uh, U.S. owned maybe, company, if, if but pe- they're owned by China. Yeah, maybe they like people that are looking for like political stuff. Maybe they're trying to weigh it that way. It's algorithms it's like for Russia, sure. It was it's like just like they caused it a racial tension. I think they was during their elections. They were saying yeah. that they had a lot of fake accounts just trying to make. Trying to make right. the elections different. So yeah. They had so like for that. I think for China, it's more like uh, understanding uh, the powers at play, how China, uh, the um, uh, sort of mainstream ideas of what China is and what right. they're about to right. Americans right. is what they really want to manipulate. Um, <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh, but I, I have no idea. I need to do way more research. I just got to say, like, I'm right, a total right, moron right, right. and I'm coming from a place of not knowing anything and, and yeah. doing what I hate is reading headlines. So I love that I, I do this a lot where I spell the headline and I'm like, <laughs> I think it's real. Um, I saw it enough times, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. which is uh, obviously ignorant. But right. but it, there also, I do know that that's a huge problem. And don't get me started on China. And I just... <laughs> I'm going to say it out loud right now because I've been saying it and at least this will be documented. I guarantee you that at least within 50 years, China will own most of the U S because we, they probably already do. Um, and I'm and like, maybe China and somebody else, like maybe Japan also, but basically China because there, we have no regulations on who can come over here and own land. And I'm talking like own our land, not like, you know, figurative economic, uh, yeah. Uh, Wall to, Street to, right. stocks and bonds. I'm talking like own the um, right, own America. Yeah. Like I own this property. Oh, we have no regulations oh. on who can come over from overseas and buy property. Yeah. And they are taking advantage. Maybe it's yeah. going to be like North Korea because mm-hmm. there's the other ones that really scoop up our land. And we we're like, here you go. How much? Highest bidder. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Like, Bill Gates. I, Ireland, Ireland has huge regulations. You have to be an Irish citizen a lot of the time to purchase any land. And if you're not, right. you got to go through huge hoops right. in order to buy property. Mm-hmm. And we, I just really hope that one day we pay attention to that because it's, it's well, getting crazy. They do have the most people in the world. I mean. So what? I'm just saying it's. It, I, they I just, have a very big <laughs> country as well. Right. Yeah, but vast I think, I think, country. I think oh, it was what comedian. Who was that? Just saying, eventually everybody's gonna be Chinese. <laughs> like, yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. If, yeah that's if, we, actually, if we open borders, everybody's I mean, gonna be Chinese. And I'm not like against. India. I'm not against them being able to purchase land, but there should be some sort of freaking regulations and somebody like actually caring that isn't also, you know, being be a, paid behind the books or whatever. I think eventually mm-hmm. it'll be pretty cool when everybody's like mixed. Yeah. We all are. It'll probably, take, it'll probably are. never happen. Yeah, we are in a way. That's true. But um. Like, imagine if there was no so-called race or, you know, I mean, I guess you're going to have cultures, but then the if cultures combine, if we had like a one. No, I think that's, be- so there only is one race. Well, yeah, but what what we what we say about, okay. Different- ethnicities. I ethnicities. love the different right, ethnicities. Okay. ethnicities. You know, I, I, I don't want there to just be one. Yeah. I think it's, it's I mean, we're- beautiful that there are so many. It's cool. I mean, yeah. I, I'm guessing if you're all mixed, if you're still all mixed up, um, that means like if there's no restrictions on cultures and people are like free to like, I think that's even tighter to just be like, man, we let's see what this other culture is about. And they, everybody's, we make a whole new culture of all the cultures. You know, I don't know. I think that would be pretty cool. I think kind of like how the U.S. is like. We had all these cultures coming here and we have like a U.S. culture. Yes. The you know? truth is we so have that we have now. That the US, there but... will always be division because of fear. Well, uh, or just people, this is how it's set up. I don't think, I, don't, I think we have a choice to do that. Like the, the, the fact that we have it on paper, just pick your race and put, I uh, might black, right? white. They, in in uh, France, you, they don't have that on nothing. They, you can't pick a race on like applications that. That or anything. Thing. Like, are you, you know a white I mean? non-Hispanic? Right. I, I always put Why others, is that just a because. thing? Right. Like, because because if you're something, right. that whole thing cracks me up. Like, white non-Hispanic. No. Is there a white Hispanic? Right. Is there is that that distinction too? Like, white non-Hispanic. What are you saying there? Right. You. That's the box I have to check, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm white. Just, I'm white. Right. But it's hard to. I mean, it's the same. What do you, you know? I don't know what. Is there another say. box that says white Hispanic? Like, no, there isn't one. So why does that even <laughs> exist? I don't get it. Yeah, I, I think the only uh, the thing that makes that good. I was talking to my buddy uh, 
uh, TJ, which he, he works for the NAACP, is that um, if we don't have that in America with all these different um, cultures, we, they could really be doing some racist shit to black people. And since we don't have that differentiation to know, um, if we if we say there's we don't there's no check marks, we don't do the census, so we don't know how many black people out there, they could just be fucking black people over anyway, and we would never find out with no census because okay. we'd be like so that's the only So I think, other I countries that don't do like, it really just aren't even paying attention to that, right. which makes yeah. you know so would you yeah. see yeah. it. You know yeah, what I mean? So see I can it. see that. We too, sort of are the I just think they don't have that many uh, you know, as Other as hard cultures. as we are on America, as hard as I am, mm -hmm. yeah, we kind of are that. <laughs> we're the best case scenario in the world. <laughs> you said that you think we're the best case scenario. Uh, you know, like we monitor it at least. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Italy's terrible. Greece, we you know, know is terrible. Do it, but uh, France doesn't I... really. We know we know we're better than the UK. I mean, right. they try, but I. I very confident we're we're better at 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 shedding light on all these things. You know they right. US, they hype yeah. up over our drama, right. which you know, so it's like they follow our our sort right. of lead. Right. Um, and they're racist in a lot of places. Like yes. Like I said, I'm yes. Talking, that's what's a Greece? I never like had. we're the best case scenario. So I, I guess I've not... been went to a, I think I told you about the story of Greece, right? But the whole racist thing out there. Yeah, when I went to um, a nightclub and everything. Well, it was two different yes, cases. Yes, but I don't cases. remember it. So, well, well basically, um, like I said, I've I I'd never had a real racist encounter out here. Uh, from you know California, Southern California. You know, it's a lot of mixed race out here. I just never had it like right in my face, like uh -huh. like somebody just call you a, a, a nigga, like it's not like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but this dude. This dude did it like this. I'm trying to get a and drink this is at the recently. bar. And recently. So your oh, whole life, ago. your yeah. whole life, you grew up in uh, Fontana or where? I mean, I, I had, there was been things like, okay, I don't play on a yeah, yeah. basketball team. And somebody called, say niggas to us when we played like a white school with Corona or whatever. Some stuff like that or whatever, mm -hmm. but not directly, just right to me. Uh -huh. Where I, I almost yeah. wanted to get Personal out of my attack. character, right? Yeah. So I'm, we're in the club. I'll go up to get a drink. I'm just sitting there. He's like, just walking past me, just looking over me. And as other people come to the bar, he's like, here, come on. He serves their drink. I'm like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, huh, maybe he's, they all, they got a drink pass and they got, he got to get there first. Yeah, the bracelet. So I'm sitting there, just the like almost 10, like five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, and then my girl comes back. Uh, says, what's going on? Where's the drinks? Who's of a lighter shade? I'm like, yeah, she, she's white. Right. <laughs> I said, I don't know, man. I'm sitting here. He's serving everybody else. And she, she looks at him like, what's going on with the drinks? Dude looks at me and says, and just this, nah, like, like him pretty much. I don't, we don't serve, you know what I'm saying? I don't serve black people. I'm like, what the And in that whole time, you never saw a black person come up and try to get a drink? Right. I mean, there's no, there's not black people in, in Greece like that. Like, you know, it's. It, it's yeah, yeah. if they're on vacation, maybe one or two. But I didn't see didn't see that many at all. You um, think it would be like a novelty though, like in Russia, yeah. it, to be well, to be black is a novelty. The basketball like, you're, MVP, you're a celebrity. The, the Doesn't matter who right. you are. So the basketball MVP is from there. He's black, and he Greece? yes. Um, um, I don't know if you you probably don't watch basketball, but pretty much it's like three brothers that. From Greece, because a lot there's a lot of Af there's a lot of Africans. Let's but, but, say his name mm -hmm. wrong, but to, to okay, Kumpo, it's, not... Kumpo. Okay, it's yeah, a long yeah. name. So he's, um, he's he's African now, like yeah. So because a lot they have but... a lot of Africans down there just out there making their money or whatever, and they be hating on them. You can tell, okay. you know what I'm saying. But they still hate uh, hate on us. Like uh, I went, we had a taxi ride, me and my girl. Uh, so I, uh, um, that at that time. Oh. He's asking us, you guys together? We're like, yeah. Like, oh yeah, we don't we don't mix race out here. Like, Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that what does that mean? But he was like a nice guy. So, so I'm you like, also don't, he don't have even... a mixed race out there. Right. <laughs> He's not... You don't have a choice. He he just didn't even see nothing wrong with it. And I was saying that's like a whole different form of racism. They don't even know. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? told you, just my girlfriend pride for her... themselves, I guess. 
Yeah, yeah so yeah. Gabby, who's Puerto Rican, so she's like tan and and darker tan, and then her her boyfriend is black. They're on the beach in Greece, mm -hmm. and so they're like, this guy's passing out uh, flyers to like come to their club tonight, you know, whatever mm -hmm. on the beach. How it happens, the promotions, and they literally look at Corey and they're like, chocolate face, chocolate face, <laughs> chocolate face. No, just no thought, no thought process, just totally fine. And he was like, I like at least they were inviting him though. At least they were. Yeah. Like, come to our club. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, in America, I think it'd be more. I don't think that's probably funny to it. Like, what? Of course it is because it's just so there's ridiculous. no real race. There's no history of the big racism right there. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, there is know. um like huge d segregation though. There, like, you know, I mean, there's just well, oh, their hor their history in Greece, right? Of um just of of. Societal hatred. I don't know what you call that. Like grouping it. I mean, yeah. starting with the, um, uh, why my blanket starts with an S. The groups. Right. There was like the Athene Athenians and the right. Um, well, all, right, all that. But there, there's there's ninety like ninety eight percent of their population is Greece. It's they have, they like have um, no... a, an olive color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nobody else. They have. They're pride. They're prideful of that. And they're very, very prideful about the ancient gods and the pagan gods and all that. What would be their reason, though, to discriminate against the different feel, skin feel, color? They feel like they're they're a little superior, a little racist. It's I, yeah, I think but that is. it's just and like it's their where does history that... too, because they think they created. When the... you know that you're the predominant and the main, and and if somebody comes in, they're probably a tourist anyway. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? Right. Like. What is that? Yeah, that's just a, um, yeah. I, that's why I always just sort of, if I want to say one word, I say fear. Because it's it's a, a fear of uh, taking away from them, a fear of uh, infiltration, yeah. right? From like a, a village sort of standpoint. Like a, right, like a, a, like a evolutionary you look different thing. than us. Yeah, yeah like a, I'm sure. You're coming from sure a different area. You must be different. You're going to... Well, tr tr tribalism. They have tribe. Tribalism right. is a real thing. They, they I have, mean, It's the beginning of time. So that's right? a that's the thing. Just like, yeah. When you because... talk about patriotic, it's all tribalism. It's all... It's us and that. Who cares about, about you? You know, we're... To we're, be it's, like, it's you're, a dark, you're a more tan person and i will not serve you a drink yeah where does that where did that it, start man, how did that it, for him i mean it was just this guy because I, I was like man forget this let's go to the other bar and it was like females that are like hey it was real lively females and like, that's hey. why they don't like so it maybe, so that's where it came that from <laughs> came from big black dicks that's what it is <laughs> they a fear of fear you're right <laughs> Big black dick I'm taking girl. my women away. Yes. Like, you know, that's somebody it. came, I'm sure some that's mandingo it. came that's through on a boat from his, a really long his time girl ago. Probably, his girl probably got took by a black dude and he was really mad for the rest you of know, his but life. It is, you know, I saw that horrible video just to talk about the obvious of that young man who was trying to buy that the local girl a drink. He was black and he's in Greece and oh, he's trying to buy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Like, it's, yeah. a, it's 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 horrific. And they it's, thought it was bad too. They beat him and up. they got this off. Guy. They were they got like you know the, they oh. actually didn't get off in terms of Greece culture. Right. They got like ten years or whatever. To me, I'm like they, they got were, off. Right. The, there was like three of them that actually had to pay a price, and it was bullshit. Right. Like, it was nothing. Yeah, it's great. Uh, to me, I'm like he, they're walking away. Yeah, I saw some other stuff on uh, the YouTube. Guy just walking the street and there's like police officers and one of them's a female. He's like, "Hey, hey, excuse me, can I say something to you?" She's like, "Yes, what?" And then a, a other uh, other guys walk up like, "What do you want?" You know, police officer just hating this man. He's like, "Oh, hey, you gonna hey. say she's beautiful?" And they just mad like they just come and try to like, "Yeah, what are you from? we're not talking take about your phone. Yeah. Like, Oh, you finna go viral, man? He just keep walking. But it was like they was just hating a black dude saying something to it. Their, their and she girl. even said yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's she like, even yes, said yes, you, you can. Yeah, yeah. Right. But it's just like it's I'm just talking like, to her. I'm not talking to you. Yeah. And I'm they not were just hating her. They were yeah. like, oh, you should be don't you are not supposed to talk to our girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like out here in America, you're just gonna be used to that. Like, I'm just saying something. You can't yeah. get mad at that. Okay. And and you're gonna cause trouble by even act reacting like that out here, but they got all the power there. They they you know, they just Let's talk about like, tribal. outnumbering. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it. And I'm a little white girl. I've seen it. Um Within, within the um, training uh, sort of, what do you call that? Like uh, mentality of the police department. When I had carried, I, I tell you how like 
Uh, so there's one time I was in Queens and I had just gotten my little Pomeranian and she did not weigh more than two pounds. And she, my little dog, my little Pomeranian right. dog, and I had to take her every like few weeks out to, uh, like I got a package that, that included um, just like all her shots and all this stuff. So I had to go to Howard's Beach, Queens from uh, Harlem, which was like as far as you could get. <laughs> Harlem's the tippy top, or not the tippy top, but Harlem's up there. It's honestly definitely not the tippy top, but Howard's Beach, Queens is like as as far you could freaking get away. Right. And so I would take all the trains to get there. Anyway, I'm trying to get back, and I'm standing on the platform, and I've carried two pounds in my arms, and this girl cop comes up to me, and she's like. I need you to step off the train or step off the platform. And I've been waiting for 10 minutes already. So I know a train's probably going to come soon. So that's what's most annoying is that I'm going to miss the train. And I have no idea why she wants me to come off. So I step off the the uh, platform and I'm down there and she's like, uh, telling me that, that because my dog wasn't in its carrier and I was holding it, even though I had the carrier, the carrier was in the other arm holding my two pound dog. She was telling me she's going to give me a ticket. And then while she's telling me this five, five male cops come up behind her and it's like they put her to the task to like go get that girl she's violating uh, okay. and they were like watching her like she was like supposed to be and they're like do you, we need your id and then they start chiming in and they like want to ask me all these questions and then they want to go through my purse because they, they're right. trying to find something else to get me right, on for no right. reason and then i'm like here are the trains so i'm getting frustrated you know they ended up giving me a 75 dollar ticket after you know searching my really? yeah like wow. but it was five men and her and i could tell she was like a little overwhelmed by their energy okay so I they were was all, very overwhelmed by their energy. Uh, they like, were all white guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like five Italian, Italian. douchebag cops Italian and her. Yeah. And she was light skin. She was a light skinned black uh, police officer oh, really? pulling yeah. me off, pulling me off. And I, but I could, oh. as I was, as it was all happening oh, to me, it took long enough. It almost took an hour for them to do this to me. Mm -hmm. So all they wanted to tell me was I need to have my dog in the carrier. And it took them an hour to do all. They had to go through my purse. They had to look through my license. Then he, found something the worst else crime? and he was he, oh, dude and, <laughs> and it was just like what are you gonna do to me like it got to a point where i was like what are you gonna try to find because he was trying he was like found something else in there where he was like oh is this mm -hmm. like he was like trying to make something out of nothing and i've seen that it's happened to me multiple times where they've done that wow. um but uh on this specific occasion it was just like i've seen that tribalism to where she wanted to look good for them and they were like putting the pressure on her but they also couldn't handle it they couldn't handle being on the sidelines like they wanted to step in and do something uh, okay. it, it was like the small you know the smallest task okay yeah that, yeah that's more i don't think that'd be tribe i don't know if that's tribalism that's like a that's like peer pressure or something like yeah both like kinda, but that's yeah, what tribalism it, it, is Tribalism is peer pressure. You're well, a part of the tribe. You got to do what we want you to do. You got to do what we say you're going to do. This well, is the tribe. This is the well, tribe's the, way. Right. It was, but the definition usually is just used to like. Groups. Our, yeah. Like we're like together. We're, our group is better it, than your group. But it's Whoever because are, we agree you know on a certain I mean? thing. Tribalism is like, this is how we see things. It's the alignment of ideas, right? Ideals or ideas it is your tribe, right? Well, a, tri a real tribe is, a tribe is a tribe. But I think. You know, I heard that term, like a science term, tribalism. Yeah, and I, and like I, you don't want I, to go against the grain in a right. tribe. Well, let me, or you'll let be me, kicked out. It's, it's really the, like, uh, specific alignment of ideas. Okay. Like you it, better align so with our ideas. The, this so the regular definition, the state or fact of being organized in a tribe or tribes. And uh, so that's just the, the easiest definition. Organized. Yeah. Like you're yeah. a part of our group. It's just like, like a patri gang. Patriotics, gangs, patriot, yeah. patriot. And, or, and what do uh, gangs do? They make you prove yourself. Right. Even That's even... how kind of that felt. She was like proving herself. <laughs> right. It just was so stupid that five of them came out of nowhere. And I was like, you guys have nothing. I didn't yeah. say this. But yeah. also when, when cops come at me with something stupid like that, I never come with good energy either. Like, oh, I, uh, you know, I'm sure you have way better energy in mm -hmm. terms of like, you know, authority. Like cop? No. I, no, I, I have think problems you're every very time. calm. I'm I'm like not this is that, stupid. Not, not in that situation. I I like I always that's why I got like, arrested. Oh yeah. Like, twice, I think. Did you really? Yeah, and that's the why. Just how how I ran my mouth was very aggressive. I you know, it's you know, just kinda I'm not used to being questioned and just pulled out your you know, telling you get out your car, you gotta do all this stuff. And then it's just like, man, it, uh, on on different occasions it wasn't even a, it was about something else it's about 
me stopping at a park and they think something going on was suspicious. I bet the girl I, I was with or whatever is tripping and they thinking I'm doing something to her. So it was just like, and she's not, she was like, she was uh, uh, Hispanic. So this You were going to say she's not white. Is that what you're going to say? So, so, so it even looks, the white cop sees that, you know, it's all right. And it was other messing cops that came to the, uh, oh, Jesus. to the scene. Yeah. They were really aggressive to me. I'm like, man, I'm not lying. Nothing's going on here. So they go over there looking to see if I got drugs in the car, search the car. <laughs> they end up taking me to jail. Uh, talk about they found a, a joint in my, in my, in my truck. Right. And they, and you that's didn't all that that's all. They just wanted the reason. Did you have a joint though? I, I think I did. No. Um, I think I'm I had a, a roach. I, I had a roach. What's so crazy is I had a joint in my pocket and I'm in the jail with it. So and they I'm like, never thought. Hey, like, they find I out this. in my car, sir. Yeah. Right. I mean, y'all didn't take Judge. it out my, y'all didn't take it out my damn uh, pocket. Shit. Sure. But you know, they ended up releasing me in the morning and it was just one of the things they're trying to hold me just in case something was going on. Cause yeah. Ogre yeah. tripping on some drugs. I didn't even give her. And, um, I guess I ended up, figuring that shit out in the morning it was just a it was just a mess but that that's one time how i'm how i'm talking though like they try to sit me down on the curb i'm like man i'm just trying to tell you something you know it's just like man i don't i'm not gonna i shouldn't be questioned so right. I, you know i'm gonna have an attitude you know what i mean and it's it's uh same thing with my the dui at the time they were gonna let me go at the end he's like i took the breathalyzer everything passed he's just like they had me the cuffs already like, what should we do? No, they didn't have any cuffs yet. They're like, what should we do, Mr. Mr. Porter? It's like, man, go ahead and take me to jail. You're going to do this shit anyway. You know, this, this is my attitude at the time. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. that right there was, oh, book him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I said in the attitude, Dude. like, y'all just doing this shit yeah. anyway. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. think I use them exactly. Yeah, words, why are you but... even asking me? Don't ask me. Right. So they just booked me for that. That's mm -hmm. all it takes is that you say the wrong thing and those heated, heated, situations where you don't a regular citizen don't have training for those moments you know what i mean they should have training in the moment so they should never get out of day character if anything but you know yeah no, i'm definitely not good with authority well the whole in, pushing in, in thing type of situation i can't remember who taught me that oh i do my friend who used to be cop uh in glendale he told me that like mm -hmm. if a cop somehow wants to like incite something, if they're feeling frisky, oh, they will you. yeah yeah yeah. Push your buttons, yeah. Well, they step on your toe, so they'll, oh. they'll like, hold oh, your toe cold. down. Oh. So they so they'll step on your toe right. because your initial reaction is to move away like that. If someone steps on the front of your foot right. on your shoe, like the front of your toe, you're gonna push back, and, and then, then it's a boom boom boom, boom it's on. Yeah, if you push it, so if someone like if. If you're standing there and mm -hmm. someone steps on your the tip of your tactics. shoe, cold, yeah, yeah, man. you want to get your balance because your balance is now stuck, yeah, and you naturally like do this, so then it looks like you're pushing an officer. Yeah. They can just wail on the you. They yeah. can just they go to town. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, for anything. Like all they did, uh, they did uh, on uh, purpose. The they step on yeah. the tip of your toe on mm -hmm. your shoe, and then your mm -hmm. natural reaction is to do that to get right. your balance. And they they've got it. They've got their cause. Mm -hmm. You look combative. Um, yeah. So, I mean, all yeah. that stuff is, and, and what's sick about that is he, it's a technique that they all know. I'm not saying it's in the training books, but they all know it. They talk about it like, man, yeah. if you don't like it, you think this guy's, you don't like a man, you can, you can rest them anyway, just got to do it right. Yeah, yeah, you don't know? You, you don't know, know this? Just do it right. yeah, <laughs> or they see, or they see their something. training person do it, you know? It's just yeah. like, it's a learned behavior that it's just innate. It's in there. Right. Um, yeah, so they don't need a reason. They'll find one. Right. And it'll be legit. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, sucks, oh my God. Man. That's that's always been something that's stuck with best me. Best thing, I almost feel like the best thing that um could happen in like right certain rights is cops having uh cameras. Because we can yeah, get, yeah. we're getting this stuff now. We can the whole see turn it. on and turn off though is such bullshit. But at well, least we yeah. know when they, they do they it. They turn it off, but sometimes they don't. We get them and it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? So hey, I just I just feel like, yeah, they need more of that. We we need to be able to watch the watchers just like, you know, like people yeah. that's in authority, we need to watch Like Minority them. Report. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just well with that, but. We didn't even talk about Kanye, though. Kanye. Uh, yeah, we went on something else. <laughs> we went down the rabbit hole on that one. But uh, yeah, yeah, Kanye, like I said, I, I, on, on that situation, it's, uh, it's definitely entertaining. Um and all that stuff. I'm not canceling his music. I still listen to his music. If he came out with a new album, I'm going to see what it's talking about. You know what I mean? Um, but 
Yeah, it's it's he's has shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? I I, 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 I don't I don't take it too serious, but actually I want I want some like something to stir something up. It's almost like a if this was a simulated world, right? He's messing yeah. up the algorithm. He's just throwing yeah. some shit. Yes. Yes. Fuck it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who knows? Let's see what happens. White lives matter. <laughs> now what are the white what are those people gonna say now? Oh uh, well, yeah, Kanye said it. Oh, Kanye. <laughs> like, just, I feel like there are more intelligent ways to do that though. There's more intelligent ways to stir things up. Mm. Like look at Bernie Sanders. It's simple. Look at Bernie if if Kanye Bernie just Sanders. started like preaching all the stuff that Bernie was, well No. Maybe it would just wouldn't mm-hmm. hit different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just wouldn't hit the same. Yeah, yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> We'll see. I just think if he's yeah. running for president, he's wasting his time and money. But he already who did. Knows. He tried. No, he's well, going to he do it again. He said, advice. so yeah, the hat he, he, he has second. on is, says 2024. He's planning to run again. So that's his whole premise of all this stuff. So we'll see how that goes. You well, know, he's got that church money. Oops. Yeah, that's what I understand. Like, <laughs> how much money, how much is he really worth? And who knows? Because if he's losing, is he losing endorsements like the Gap thing? He's talking shit about Gap. I'm like, ain't. Isn't that the person that gave you like most of your money? And how do they do they already give it to you now? I think when does he does matter? that, he knows that the writing's on the wall. Whenever he starts doing that, he they knows they're gonna drop already? it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think he he will disalign with what is it like uh yeah, I guess disalign himself with a company once he knows the writing's on the wall. Um, okay, it says two billion. That's a, that's how much he's worth. Really? How? Yeah, but is that him and his church? Or is that just him? They wouldn't say. They would say if this is if this is company. They usually just to see. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Did you see? Uh, there was the how oh my god. Earned a fortune mean. through the music career and a successful brand Yeezy. So who's I never bought a Yeezy? Like who the fuck is buying it? And he, I guess he's saying all the the rich white kids and the. The people that that's why you say white lives matter. Like, I think it's like all the people who shit. buy them wholesale and then try to resell them. There's a big resale it, market. It, it, it says he owns 100 percent of it. That's what it is. If you yeah, own your own yeah, yeah. brand, yeah. they're like owning Nike and mm-hmm. shit. So he said he gets up between 150 to 200 million from his brand each year. I mean that's pretty good. I just don't know who's. I've never seen a person in real life wear Yeezy. You haven't? No, you have. No. Thank you. Like who the <laughs> hell's buying it? You have it. No, like, man. I, black, I, I mean, I wouldn't know, maybe. <laughs> but usually, when I see a shit, a shit is like stands out, like some old weird stuff. So I thought I would know, but at the same time, it's I mean, very I'm in an IE. Maybe you got to be in a real risk spot. It's yeah, like, no. Nah. You know, maybe. and I wouldn't know. Yeah, you're right. It costs like, a lot. She costs like... a lot. Like they have, she got shoes like nine hundred dollars, thousand dollars tennis shoes. So yeah. I guess For no it's like reason. somebody that somebody like rich white people are rich people. It's not even rich persons. white people, yeah. You know, like yeah, persons yeah, that yeah, I would yeah, never yeah. know about. Or Mace or yeah, yeah. And I would never see them, but I'm yeah. like they're making millions of Birkin dollars bags. off this. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I don't, you know what I mean. So it, it's the same with Yeezy. So that's what he wants. Somebody that's, what, that's that exactly I, I, I what he wants know. it to be like. Is wearing this, you know? What <laughs> I mean? Says so, so. Kim Kardashian worth 1.8 billion. Yeah, it's got to be in, but see, they didn't mention his church, so he's definitely way more. He has he's making way more money. If well, they're only mentioning Yeezy and and just like his art, I um, it, his church, I guarantee you. Yeah, yeah it, well, it, it might not be making more than that, but yeah. it's saving him in taxes. Uh, oh, that's why. That's probably. That's probably too. Maybe. Oh yeah, I said but that they, day I one. They, I was I like, he's go got that church. It would go after those as you try to funnel money that he's. It's really clothes. a church, though. It's you know legitimately saying? a church. They can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he, he can't funnel his clothes money through the church or nothing like that. So it's not. He's still got to pay taxes with his clothes. The church. I mean, how much money can you make off the church? I mean, they get donations. I mean, yeah. are they really giving donations? I would donations hope there's a separation. Church? I would hope there's a separation between the two. Um, Let's see. Church. Yeah. I mean, I don't does know. he have a real church or is it just saying he's. Church. Oh yeah, no, he's filed it as a church. Like it's yeah. definitely he's definitely. Um, does Kanye own a church? Invites went to a list only at first, though. Recently, Kanye's church has opened up to more as, uh, more as evidenced by Coachella, Lakewood Church, and gatherings in Dayton, Ohio, Wyoming, and Chicago, where the general public was invited. So, I don't think because he's he has to. If he wants to have cuts, if he wants to have tax cuts, mm. uh, property. Uh, I mean, there's mm. there's so many other ways that you can use a church to right. to create. 
So did you yeah, did you know bad, that but... did you know that he bought a house next door to Kim to spy on? I, I, so <laughs> I've been watching funny. the show now. <laughs> Kathy was kept asking me if I was watching it, and I am. I am now. Oh, Kardashians! They say it on there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I heard do. on, the, on, a drink, on because, the drink champs. Oh, you did? Because so um, mentioned it. What's his name? Uh, Scott. Did. Scott was like, everybody's just buying properties next to you guys. So basically, if I if I want to make sure that I see court, or if I want to, because he was like, like, he just kept complaining how he felt like the family. This is Scott. Um, was cutting him out. He was mm. like, "I'll just buy a house next to you, like Kanye." And, That's some stalkers. Um, who else? It's stalker and else. balling at the same time. You know what I mean? Because the house yeah. got to be expensive all... in Kim Kardashian's <laughs> neighborhood. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and he also wow. created her house to where it's just like wall to wall windows and just white. So everything's a good background for spying. Because it's got. Have you seen the house? Have you? No. I just thought of this. Let's the see. house is just like huge ass windows white background so he's just in there like in the darkness <laughs> <laughs> watching everything oh also i would not i mean i would freak out like he's you think he hasn't planted cameras in there or like tape recorders or some shit right <laughs> like if i was her i'd be going insane i'd be like there's he's okay. definitely listening <laughs> okay look in a minute Although okay look listening, he'd probably be a lot look better. The house. <laughs> Stop it. It's Look, literally across the street. There's it's nothing right the there. He, he, but there with binoculars, you can see everything. Wait, which one is is it? Is it this little one? Let me see. Across from Kim, I'm sure this is Kim, He's right? The big help. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just bought a little. Small. Okay. How much was it? I wonder. With a pool, though. It looks like it's got a pool. Yeah, a little pool. It's a bachelor pad. The Kim doesn't have a pool. <laughs> Maybe he bought I know, this. Right? Is it inside? Maybe he bought this ballad. Well, let's find out. Let's Wait, see. what? The, the the brass in between? The big one. No, the big, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, the pool. Okay, it's the one with the pool. Yeah, okay. It's kind of small. Yeah, he just bought it. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing for him. Man, that's a tax rebate. Yes. It is. Wow. Yeah, that's. Balling and stalkerish at the same time. Yeah, but they know it. <laughs> it you know, I guess it's stalkerish. And, <laughs> yeah, it, when you have like four kids, how many do they have? Four kids with a woman? It's like convenience. I'm just doing it out of convenience. <laughs> okay. oh, I think they're going to get back together. I think he's going to get her back. <laughs> I'm just going to say it now. Yeah. I just have a feeling. No, nah, hell no. Nah, they're not getting back together. Mm. No damn way. They, I don't think any um entertainers in the in the public eye have got back together do you know one because after it's too much on your mind j-lo ben affleck what they they divorced and got back together they just got they dated like when they were in their heydays and now they're married but they, they was, just got married no but they they wasn't they wasn't married and then divorced and got remarried or nothing but like they that. were they were benefer yeah well that's different we're talking about actually <laughs> they had together. a celebrity name yeah well yeah i mean that's literally the only one i can think of literally they live together put it that way they live together like really no and they're like happy ending right no no it's not over it's not over yet oh my god if he opens the door yeah that's theo if theo opens the door theo he almost did it he can't yes he's done it before oh well he's done it to the girls around this one's this if he doesn't a a fingerprint on it so he's he's not gonna he's opened simone's door before (laughs) if he opened that fingerprint door we're gonna take we're gonna do tricks right now (laughs) take him to a circus immediately oh my god oh yeah Yeah, that's crazy yeah you know guys character we'll see see how it goes i can't i can't quit him i can't quit you i just i don't there's there's things he gets me so like you're insane Mm -hmm. and i i 100 percent recognize that he is he's volatile and he's dangerous and i don't think it's productive i think that if he stopped doing all this stuff like i said last time he would be a better musician i think that it's pulling his energy away but it also is just a testament to what a good musician he is and what a good just artist he is that he's able to still come out with with this stuff uh and and to use those moments and apply them to to the to the content so so no cancel car yeah that's what you're saying no cancel i'm I'm not canceling r kelly and (laughs) bill cosby (laughs) and i'm watching all that stuff and listening to it (laughs) do it to your legs shake it do you that's that song's on TikTok right now. Who's it's that? R. Kelly. R. Kelly? Song. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, what? They don't even know. They probably don't even know. Kelly. 
They love the song though. I don't, know, like, it. I don't know this song. Do the what? Do it to your leg shaking. You uh, ever heard yes, that yeah, I don't even know it. Okay, I'm, uh-uh. I'm gonna, let me play one clip from that because <laughs> that's sure like that's, a, that's a thing right there. I know one two step, and then then I know the Lady Gaga song because it used to be my ringtone. Give it to me. Give it. To, what is it? To your body. What was that the one that he did with Lady Gaga? Anyway, um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty much talking about something, whatever. Uh, eating her out too when you talk about the song. The, the stanky it's leg or the what? No, leg? Uh, do it to your leg shaking. I, I believe so. It's, yeah, the Luda guy's Chris, a comedian. And at the end of the day, Ludacris is in that uh, <laughs> in that song too. Let's see. Oh. What year was this? Um, it's old. It's probably was it nineties. It was it's old. Like I said, it's young people wouldn't even know. This That's song. what I'm saying. Like I don't know, but, but it's good. It's just really good. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. This stuff is let me, let me just, uh, hold on. Like it's comedy. Oh, I mean, like some of these like, stuff is just comedy. TikTok. TikTok. We should just take one of his songs and like reenact it. <laughs> I, you know, like as a <laughs> like do like a like, video uh, of it. Like Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. gosh. All these commercials. I need to pay for I, YouTube. So these commercials stop coming out. I pay for everything. If and you I pay just for refuse. it. Yeah. It, it no, will, I'm not. I'm just pay for it. I pay it's for everything. It's the one thing else. I haven't paid for, but I have every other subscription to everything. I think I even yeah. have a Fubu or Fubo, Fubo TV. Challenge. There we go. Look. This is the RK. Do it to your legs. You ever heard this? Oh. I'm bad. <laughs> you heard this before? This is R. Kelly. I think I almost thought it was Michael. Oh my god, I never seen the dudes on this. What are they doing? Oh my god. Who's <laughs> 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 on someone? <laughs> <laughs> so you do the It's so crazy. This is, TikTok is that big. What is this, a news channel? This is like a news channel. What is this? Right? No, it's just um. Oh. Yeah, uh, she does it like she's a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, they got yeah, all day. They going all day. I'm telling you. What is this? Why? Huh? Is it, is I know. That's the that's right the right challenge. Right? So, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sniffing. What are you doing? Oh I mean, it's way more um, ones than this. This looks like I mean, whoever made that's this. Not doing it, I haven't seen one where they look bad, right? It's like a slow thing. I get right. like popular because everybody looks hot doing but, it. But that song is really good too. It goes with. <laughs> yeah, I've never. Shay, Shay. It kind of sounds like Michael yeah. Look at the jar. Yeah, it's it does. Like, that beat definitely sounds like yeah, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen one? Is it the same girl? Because I swear to God, they all look the same. Yeah, let's like, see. Awesome. Look at here. Look at. Oh no, that's that's it. A... Here's another. One. Here they go. <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody. It ain't just even black girls. Just... Look at. How do you even do this? How does she make that? Oh, there's so a persuasions right there. Hey, everything. <laughs> oh, how much hair does she oh, have? God, I should do it. I'm like nobody looks not hot, and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll end immediately. Challenge. Uh, see if you can do that. I know. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it for our care. Don't cancel. <laughs> yeah. Why do you do that thing? Do you do this thing with your hands? I'm like, nah. what, what you got to practice do? it. Do oh, my God. Look at this dude. They don't think they practice Look at this cowboy. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. Is that my ex-boyfriend? That was like, oh, dude. 100%. I have never not put a back. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I thought this was a girl, so. What's funny is I haven't seen. I mean, a girl now. challenge, oh my God. but. Okay, he's definitely he's like, he was not playing for my team. Hilarious. He's playing for your team. Leg shaking, mashup. Michael Jackson, R. Kelly. I don't know what they're See? doing. See, No, he just did a mashup. Yeah. He probably thought the same thing you yeah. thought. I was like, man, this. Like... Hey. Oh, she's dipping it. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, someone's putting some stank on. Yeah, no. If, if you when you type it on TikTok too, you'll see a whole bunch of different ones. But yeah, it's that's a thing. So they they're not canceling R. Kelly. You know what I think? All the people that are canceled will come back. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like really big. A revival. That's a story to it. It's like um, 
the revival the roseanne everything that's gonna be like the it's, it's like uh they put them in the crates then they brought them back at a later date it's like, <laughs> You know, especially people I've never saw Roseanne. They're like, this girl, she Yo, was canceled. Bill, Co- Bill really Cosby funny. is out there. I He's think, yeah, they out have the there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interviewing immediately. He's back. He got out and he was like, "What? Never happened." Uh, I mean, it's sad. It's a sad day. I don't know. The, it is I'm sad. Co- He's so confused. <clears throat> I'm yeah. not confused about that one. I'm yeah. not. And he is hilarious. His first original stand-ups. If you watch them, they're hilarious Mm -hmm. and i mean i came on to the i come on to it late my parents went and saw him live they loved him and i i I don't i can't say loved i don't i don't know what they're (laughs) i'm not speaking for them but i can't like i can't look at him the same way he's it's too graphic it's too graphic but let me ask you a question he's somebody that i think yeah let me ask you a question can you Okay, go ahead. Okay. This is, I mean, this is just, okay. Can you, do you think someone can be a victim of power and fame? Yeah. yeah. Where, wherein, yeah. wherein somebody yeah. like Bill Cosby yeah. got away with Done things so me, long. Do it to you. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm like, saying he, he got away with things so long because he was famous. Therefore, uh-huh. he came a serial, he came serial, I guess they call it. Rape, but I don't really call that rape. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say victim. I want to say glutton. I want to say glutton. A glutton for power and pain. Or power and fame. Sorry. Explain. Go, go, deep, go deeper into that. Glutton. Meaning greed. Greed. You are one. Of, so, so I do think. If he never had fame, though, he obviously wouldn't have been doing that, right? No, I think he would have. Well, yes. can't. No, but girls are not going to line up to try to get famous. You know how many most nothing of, guys most, most, have girls lined up around the block for no many. reason? Not no, a lot. but they're not gonna let you drug like. No, it's attitude. A guy with a guy with no. a crappy attitude and like a decent look gets a long way. They do, but not like they entertainers. Do. Not like entertainers. Oh yeah, not like that. Right. No, no, no. They don't he's have talking the about reach. He had a whole host of women that he he, he ran through. He didn't go right? through those. I don't those. Even know if he ran through. No, them no, or no. Not. He went Just through the week. Asleep. He went for the week. That no. was the thing. Who? Cosby? Yeah, he what did. A week? What do you mean? He went for young impressionable um uh hopeful women who wanted to make something and he crushed their souls have you have you okay, heard okay, the stories though but, but okay I, this is why this is where you I, haven't heard the stories have you well, not listened to the women i did but this is this is i'm did saying you? i don't have to uh, 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 <laughs> i don't have no, to on this See, part because what you're saying this argument because you do this all the time you haven't actually heard these women's stories no no, no i'm going to tell you I have. before that happens i just want to clarify something uh-huh okay yeah um we were talking about fame we were, we were, we were talking about the difference between a, just like a regular joe Smo and somebody with fame right yeah. He, he's not going out looking for the women. You just said he's going, he's a he predator is. going out. No, that he's already famous, right? Yeah. They're going to him and then he's making whatever you're saying, whatever. That's what I'm saying. You could we, that's that's different after that. All I'm saying is when you're in a position, not, mm-hmm. women are throwing their shit at you and they want to get on. Those aren't the women he went for though. No, no, he, he all of no, he didn't. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's, no, no, no. It's, so it, it's different when you have a production company that is casting people mm-hmm. and that is bringing them into your environment. And then you're sniffing out the weak and preying on those. I don't think they're weak. I just think they're missed. They, they, I'm they, telling they you they what he did. They you're sniffing have... out the weak, meaning the more susceptible, the people who have uh, the younger, uh, like more innocent, the people who have uh, less clout. Uh, and you're going after them. Mm-hmm. Although... He also did go after some of the ones who were already established. They have stories too, and they were shocked. It's just kind of like the Harvey Weinstein thing, because also once you're a predator like that, you sort of test your boundaries, and you also get cocky. You're right. You do get you get That's cocky. My you point. push your boundaries. That was my point. I'm being a, um, cocky. This could be a victim of they they wasn't they wasn't me too on him. I when wouldn't first call him a victim of that. No, but I'm trying to put a it glutton. out. I'm trying to show you a glutton. Can I, what's the real definition of that? Uh, meaning like you can't get enough. Like no, you, you're no. a glutton for, but you just want more of it. Like you're, you're, um, I know, uh, you no, should no, look a glutton no, actually. No, 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 no. So what you I said. I kind of want to know what, no. like, what the actual okay. definition yeah, is. Yeah, because what you said, I'm just saying that that's yeah. still after the fact because you could be a glutton, you, 
but you don't know that until you're uh, they're just throwing the draws at you right like, oh well, you're not a man but if if, if I'm, I'm i'm a man right and i'm famous and all of a sudden yeah the, yeah the, no it's the true that's of, when you the, see the amount of humanity one, the, of the, someone you, you uh, see who someone really is at the end of the day no, that's not true. Are... so you, i don't think one per one one act makes somebody i think that can't make them if it becomes an addiction like you said but you know what i mean or something like that but it's just because they i don't think they, he would be a bad person he could have been a good person I mean, he could still be a good person it's just that problem he had so what i was gonna say bad person when i was like so this holding my finger what I really don't like about Cosby is he was always pretentious and he was always trying to tell the younger comedians how to do it because right. he knew the hate. way. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So the, it's the same dynamic. It's the same mindset. He, he, and he would get angry. He got angry at Eddie Murphy. He called him and he was like, how dare you say all those cuss words? You don't need, like you're, you're taking down our race. You, you Eddie Murphy for saying all these mm. F words and whatever. You are making a mockery. Of our, tell that motherfucker kiss. Yes. It's like my Nick. Yes, yes, yes. But which is hilarious because he's out there just raping every young, uh, young black woman trying to come up and making something of herself. He's preying on that, that, that's uh, the demographic that he. Then he's then trying to, um, I mean, it's he's perpetrating in so many different ways I know. against his own, it, which is something that he was such a big preacher of. So he you can't up. say that oh, he, that yeah. it, that it, you know, that he's just oh such a. Some they made him feel so high, and that he just sort of kept running with it. How, yeah. The only thing that I would give too, to him, if he got, here's what I'll give to him. Got me too. Back in the days, so he wouldn't be able to do that. That's so what I'm here's saying. what I will so give to him. You're the, right. The, the, there's a victim. Here's, here's, I'm saying that. No, here's what I will say. I will, I'm gonna stop saying victim because nobody's gonna like. No, no, no. That. no I know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm making a point on. Yes, I don't believe anybody. I don't. I I believe in determinism Quaaludes, anyway, where I don't know how many so how much power you got to control your real life. Quaaludes and dominant male activity was a norm. Nobody said anything. Exactly. So many people got away with it. Right. And it was, of course, uh, uh, the world he grew up in. At the same yes. time, you got you got women coming up to you trying to get on. And I guarantee you talk about the weak ones. How about the strong ones that was taking that because they tried to get on. They probably got on, didn't ever say nothing. You know what I mean? Like they, 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 they did that whatever he wanted because they're trying to get in the game. They don't even, they're not even good actress. And they and somehow he got them something, and they was like, man, that's fair exchange. You know what I'm saying? There's, I'm sure he had more of them than the accusers. I said, in my, in my opinion. I'm saying real talk. There's people out there. I'm hustled. I get shit. What, Bill Cosby? Come on, just get me old. Just because they're you can, not. I'll take it. Just because they didn't accuse him doesn't mean he didn't abuse them. No, no. Do you know what I'm saying? Everybody abuses. I, I, I'm saying just because. The abuse, no, just the, because a, they didn't say I anything said, I said, doesn't mean they weren't victims, though. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't say either. that. Yeah, I didn't say that. So no. it doesn't make it right. You know, like Nobody maybe said, he no, did no, assault was, them and they actually got somewhere no. from it. I mean, yeah. I would rather be in that boat. Sure. My point is. The reason a guys like that keep doing what they're doing because it's women. There's women out there to be like, fuck the 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 girl that's gonna cry about it after. I'm trying to get on oh, that shit. I've been I can I've been right before and I just played through it. You know, there's people out there that talk like that. But I, but I, I got now I'm I'm worth a million. But no girl should Who have cares? to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying if I there's guys that would do it. It's not even about girls. There's guys that would do it, guaranteed. But. Motherfuckers ain't lined up to like do that. Women ain't lined up to, to do that and put you on in the, in the industry like no, that. But, you know what I'm so saying? Like, so there this was is that one different... who's like Terry, uh, whatever, who said he was sexually assaulted by a woman. Terry, the uh, by a woman? No, the, by a guy. So, no, no, no. Oh, it was a guy. You're yes. right. It was a guy. You're right. It was a guy. <laughs> touch his dick or something. Like he like horse played with him and touch his dick, and he in got he, he was crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I guess he yeah, said he right, basically right. he had a point like if he took yeah. off on a dude he's done in the in the industry because he he socked them or whatever. Yeah. At the same time, dude, I'm not tripping on that. It's I'm, not I'm a, cool though. I'm it a, is no, not cool. No, I'm gonna be like, man, hold on, don't, don't be doing that, bro. And, and, and then and, and then who is that guy? That guy's nobody. I don't know. At the end of the day, I I, I think you, mm -hmm. we have to talk about it. like man, you can't be, and then it could be somebody just drunk. So right. you know this motherfucker been drunk and he gave him or, or whatever. He's horseplay and punching the dick. I know it's. They tend to like really a white wasn't game. That case. <laughs> and it was in front of game. his wife. Also, no, the saying. dominance of it being in front of his wife is creepy. Well, but because it's like I can do this. Oh, I like you. You gay? Yeah. 
Uh, or like uh like this is uh, you're not gonna say any like it doesn't matter i can just do this to you and he just feel he just feel all uh, weak by that right and like you've See, been I in the just... industry for how long and you you're not no he, ha- he had be putting up with this he anymore. hadn't been in the industry so if he if i was he already had for a bit he'd well, then he done white chicks he socked him he'd already done white chicks see i would have socked him there so so you could have been yeah, like man yeah, watch that out. was his point and i don't that think... was his point he no, wanted to and that's why he filed this because his wife held him back his wife held him back because she was like i saw it i saw it he wanted to hit him. No, he, you don't have to hit him, dog. You don't have to hit him. Just like shake, hit him up, shake, <laughs> shake him. the shit out of him. I'm like, don't do that shit, man. I, I got, motherfucker, I'll hurt you down, bro. He definitely wasn't okay something. with it. And he did voice that, and the guy laughed it off. But the wife hold, held him back, held Terry, Terry Crews. Is that what it right. is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. His whole story is actually, you know, it's very believable. It, it, it's, and it is sad. And it's, and honestly, it's like, it is a sad <laughs> perspective because I'm kind of like, you meh, but what do we yeah, go through? Like we go through on, I, we go through that on a daily basis, and we don't even have careers. You know, like women. Unless I mean, who <laughs> else is that? But, okay, it, it could be happening to other people though. You know what I mean? Like, Will oh, Smith. it definitely is. You know who? You who think knows? That's, he's the yeah one and I, only. I just think who wife. are these guys? Because you know, some guys just the reaction is I'm, I'm hey, we got a problem after that, so I don't. They really think they got you by the balls well, like that? You're not going to do nothing? Or do they be like... don't speak up for themselves. Yeah, a lot of people I, don't. I don't know about that. It's I don't insane. know how that works, but... When whatever. I found out that Selma Hayek... And, Selma Hayek didn't speak up for herself after Harvey Weinstein bullied her out of a out of a um, a movie that she actually produced and started to put together. It was a Frida, I think, or I might be completely wrong in this, but there was a, a movie that she had really gone to bat for and he was trying to push her out of it, but he really couldn't at this point because there was a lot of money involved, but he tried to, he, he tried to come at her sexually on multiple occasions during the project and then he looked at her and said, I can ruin you. Damn. And she was yeah, already that's, Selma that's Hayek. Like she was already Selma Hayek and he's doing this to her and she didn't say anything yeah. she didn't say anything until yeah. until the drama started she mm. was already Selma Hayek and he's doing this to her and she was going to eat it and that is rough like I can't I know I know I wouldn't and that's why I'm here that's, that's crazy. why they I really am be nowhere bullying people like but that you know I feel yes. like you get to see me yes. on the streets yeah. <laughs> like, yes like you know, I've, you're gonna, you're gonna I've ruin my it, career oh, okay. I've seen well, it to the extent of I'm I've allowed myself you don't even know it's me I'm gonna do something to your ass <laughs> well that is what's like, crazy that's why people get stuck in cults that's like crazy people get stuck in these lunatic cults it is amazing how susceptible people are to suggestion and, and and all kinds of it, you know, like forceful suggestion or just light suggestion or it, it's a over time, you know, that mm. whole Nexium bullshit, mm. like the, the people that already had careers that he was able to manipulate and do weird brand these these there are certain women that had careers and yeah. husbands and he branded them. <laughs> they, right. It's insane. I think it just people want purpose and people sniff that out. And when you have the ability to give somebody the purpose they want, you have a lot. You have a lot of power over them. Um, so, and that's why I'm here, and so, that's why hey, I will so, always so, so, be so, so, not so, right, not so, successful. So back to like I don't let anybody do that shit right. to me, and I never have, I, I, and that's so, why I go nowhere in life. <laughs> right. So back 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 to what you you saying that like these these predators sniff the weak ones out. I feel like they just sniffing. It's not only when to say weak or strong. I just feel like they sniffing the wrong ones out. They they sniff the wrong ones out. They had the one. The they right had ones. they had real. Ho- they had like real hoes. <laughs> you know, like you know, girls that'll just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was no That's problem. That's not fun anymore. That's not fun though. That's not a challenge. So like hiring uh, uh, a prostitute. Well, uh, well it could hiring be a that. prostitute and like well, getting, not even and, like, that. Not even prostitute. Whatever just, it is. Just, they they right? try to get on. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's it definitely becomes, not the same. It, and that's yeah. the problem. That's why they're a predator, and that's why. That's why this issue is is an issue. Mm-hmm. If they were smarter about it, right? It's just like the serial killers who kill prostitutes and get away with it for twenty years until they finally kill the wrong one who, like, actually his family cares about them, or 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 is just too smart and gets away. That's you know they prey on these weak people. Well, so yeah, but so, but, back, so yeah. but when you you know when you don't do that, All right? So. With with, I'm like, if you want to do it the right way, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You know what's what's crazy? A lot of a lot of a lot of the women. Well, I don't. Know, a lot of women I saw. I feel like it was like him. There, it was them and their mother. Like the father wasn't. Oh, I have that no idea. Involved. In terms of who? 
just like, the for, victims of, 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 the, of both. Um, I think the father Cosby. was like, leave me out of. <laughs> well, no, I just feel like if the father's not there, and that's why I always say this, like yeah, I have, I, da- I have daughters, that. I have daughters. And that's why a lot of times I, 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 I say hey, these guys are doing some bad shit. But I don't put all the blame on there. I don't think that's going to like save everybody. I think that the, the, it's going to save everybody when you teach. I teach my daughters. Don't try to get on the scene and try to be all up in the studio or all try to get on it, 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 it without thinking that they want something else. They want something from you if they're going to let you all do that. Unless you got some real talent or something like that. And you Mary have to know never that. said shit like that to me, I know. and well, I knew it. Okay, but some people don't. <laughs> but I'm saying you want to. But you, Larry got. Y'all, y'all good already. Like, I, yeah. I think there's people that's vulnerable. You, your money ain't right and all that. You know what I'm saying? I think there's, they're like, they don't really just know that. They have had that in their ear to say, because uh, some of the R. Kelly victims, I think it was a, a father involved, and they let the girl go to R. Kelly. Like, yeah. oh, go ahead first. Go ahead, shit. Yeah. Get on. He finna put you on. So he in a way, the hotel they're place. wrong. And that's why that's what I was talking about, that victim stuff on R. Kelly part, too. It's like, man, you gonna let me, you gonna let me have your yeah. daughter? And oh, their shit. their daughters were missing, I'm they good. didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. a little bit of their fault. So I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, a little, I'm not saying he's he's a victim. I'm saying that the, the idea of these things happening is kind of victimized. No, that's why it makes I, it worse, in my opinion. Well, no, I'm saying, what? What makes it worse? These predators, because they're going these after predators. these. Yeah, yeah, they're going after the weak. Predators. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. They're well, that's what they do. Well, because that, that they're going it's just after like a cult. whoever, 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 whoever bites it, on it. You know what I'm saying? I guess, but yeah, I'm just saying and they, like they've done and, it and long enough now. It's trial and error, right? And so if you start to get in trouble in your younger days, let's say you're, because there was a there was a story about him being like 17 and trying to attack some like high school student, and he got in trouble. R. Kelly. And it, you learn, you learn as you go, like, who are the right people to, to, what are the questions to ask these people? How do I find out who are the right people to, to go for? What am I looking for in a victim? You start to, you, it's a, it's all a process. Um, you start to really cultivate. You know, you must have some ideas. You really know this. <laughs> Either you're doing it or you're studying it. You, I mean, I don't have the will. I don't have the willpower. I don't have the mm. dedication. You have to really be. You I'm not sure really, exactly really how it works, but it. I, I have some ideas that, you I know, can tell getting you away with. If you're a thief, you, you probably got away with a lot of steal in, in your younger life. Right. You, Therefore, it's you become small. a serial thief. Yeah, you start okay. as a kid, and it's right. probably learned. Right. You probably saw somebody do or, it, an or, elder. Or you got, yeah, or just some kind of problem you got, and it just happened. You know, some people are kleptos, you know, they can't yeah. help it still. But yeah. so, and then do you say it's a, you know, I'm not going to, I keep bringing a victim because I always look at things in a, like a deterministic view where cause and effect makes this person who they are. So I agree. Who knows? Yeah. And then, like I said, being famous now and people throwing, they're lining up yeah. at your door. You'd be like, yeah. oh, I can pick which one. Which one is going to really get yeah, hooked me up? You know what I'm saying? And, um, even the, I don't know if you watched the Mike story yet, Mike Tyson's story. No. The how how he ended up, they say, how he ended up raping um, the uh, the girl in the beauty pageant and everything. But I all, when, he, when he comes in, you know, that's how he went to jail. Uh, no, I thought he beat up Robin Givens. Or no, something. no, he was a he was he, I don't think he beat her. He's just abusive or whatever. Even in, in that, that's but just what just I thought. A, she I divorced and took his money. But him. after, but um, this was before. This is before or after. What a before or after. He goes to the beauty pageant, and they already know he's like really frisky with girls. Hey, baby, what's up going on? Have him there. All the girls is on him. Yeah, yeah. You know what but I'm like, saying? By being so, there and saying so, hi to so him, he he calls one of the chicks that he feel he she's like a virgin. So I don't know if he picked. I think he picked the wrong one in that situation. But probably all the pageant girls are probably like really tight with their stuff because they mom. It's like they mom coaching the whole time. I don't know the whole story, but I just think that also it's peer pressure because if you're around all these other girls and yeah, you're the one that gets that. picked, it showed that in the movie. They're, they're yeah. dressing them up. It's at twelve o'clock at night, and they, they're saying yeah. that. He was you're the one it. that gets picked. You're they, kind of like, I can't. Oh my god, I'm like so lucky. Yeah. Ooh, and then you're in the middle of it, and you're like, I don't feel so lucky anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And you're so young. Yeah, and they, so they end up taking him. Uh, take um, they were they were think they, in the movie they say they were thinking they was going to go to those high end superstar after parties. Yeah. So they're dressing her yeah. up for that. So when she gets to the room, you know, yeah, it's, I'm just chilling. Let's go to the bedroom. That's how they they. they and why it. she? Alone? I don't know exactly how why that. Why she alone? Well, no, yeah, exactly. But that's yeah. but yeah, but that's what people would complain. Oh. 
she knew what was going down. No. I don't so think who she did. knows? But, but her mom should have. But like no, but like you said, well no, I don't think she talked to her mom before that. But like you said, there are the the weak girls, or yeah. they're just young and don't know that they get themselves in a to, predicament. It's a, it's a fair extent. Like people don't just want to do that without trying to get your draws, and that's what I'm saying. If yeah. I feel like that's a big problem, they're not teaching. They're teaching all this. Oh, this guy's bad. This guy's bad, and guys shouldn't do this. But you got to also teach that that's going to keep going. You got to make sure the gr- girls know not to put themselves in that position. That's all. I mean, just having daughters, so, that's all I'm, I, I would agree. preach. I don't even care and I'm, what, the, what what's happening because I'm sure there's always going to be crazy guys out there like that. So I don't even, yeah. want, I don't even care. It's not but a, at what age? Because guys start preying on on girls when they're so young. And I, I've also seen these psychology studies and recently. Uh, just to, well, I just I started going down that rabbit hole because I'm a paranoid crazy. Right. And I just... I, there are there are a lot of problems with putting your psychosis onto your child too soon because you're afraid of everything in life mm-hmm. right and then mm-hmm. you put it onto your child because you want to protect them but really it's just adding them with this anxiety mm-hmm. of the world that's like they're not ready for it yet well, so there's about, a different it's about really like, young. I hope so. I mean, I don't know. They prey on on girls 13. So it's well, like I, what's the line? Well, how are you going to get at my daughter at 13, there's no way she could be. Beauty pageants your... start then. Beauty pageants no, saying, start then. And I'm no, not saying that that's. But I'm in some other countries. My, my daughter's easy. not going. Not in America. With any guy. But in some other countries, okay, yeah, yeah. easy. But yeah, that's not but even 16, happening. That's my job. That's the parents' fault. 16, that's the parents' but, but job. But I'm, at saying, that point. I'm saying, you know, there is that line of like, there's certain things that I always want to tell Simone, your daughter, my niece. Uh, and I'm just like, I also don't want to bombard no, her with wait just like knowledge. Yeah, no, not now. Not now. No. She's, it's all the cartoons and stuff right now. Yeah, so when, it when she gets, be. you know, teen, uh, even people she starts dating, and then I think when they're like around sixteen, they, I think they start having. I guess they always have pressure to really older with, guys. But with social the, media, the, though, and the access that these like people right. that these predators could have to these kids, oh, I'm by all the time on they're that. twelve, I'm, I'm all on her social media, so I know yeah. everything. Yeah, I just think everything that goes on, I'm gonna see it. So that's yeah. not even yeah. an issue to me. Still, to again. Be. You have yeah. to be, and I, yeah. I think, you know, maybe you don't let her she know, it. know it. No, she ain't gonna know it. Yeah, yeah. You know? But you, and then you guide. Yeah, really, you this guide more secretive. You, gotta, you guide or you up. block. Like, yeah. if you could block somebody from them and they don't even realize that person's been blocked, they think they're just not talking to them. Uh, That'd yeah. be dope. That too. I hope that there's or a Say a something on a, say, add yeah. them as a yeah, friend yeah. and be like, hey. Yeah, hey, yeah. What's hey you buddy, you want to talk to me? Yeah. Someone don't live here no more. Send a picture back, like, who's it? I think I had a good at the shooting at the, at, the, at the picture. Or he's like asking for like a, a provocative picture. And so then you send him like a picture of just like you sit with in a, a chair like, with a gun. Right. <laughs> like no top on or whatever. What do you want? You need to take your top off. Oh, right. you want my top off? And send it back. Never contact yeah, again. Yeah. Um, ice real quick. Yeah, I have to pee too. <laughs>